We've stumbled upon crucial information suggesting that the Federal Reserve is gearing up to embrace XRP on a worldwide basis, aligning with the ISO 4217 standard. This revelation isn't based on mere speculation. It's documented in an official report, which I've managed to acquire through the meticulous efforts of a committed independent investigator. Despite the lack of widespread media attention, rest assured, significant developments are happening behind the scenes. Ripple's partnership with the U.S. on central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, together with efforts by the SEC and Congress to address issues of special drawing rights, SDR liquidity, and Japan's leading banks activating XRP for international payments are all converging at a pivotal moment. Moreover, there are hints that XRP's value could soar to an astonishing $10,000 per unit, suggesting we're on the brink of a major financial revolution. Yet that's merely scratching the surface of what's unfolding. Today's episode is packed with the latest updates that we're going to explore in depth, presenting all the facts clearly for you to see. Welcome back, Moneyside family, your go-to channel for everything XRP. Before we jump into today's exciting developments, please hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications to become part of our community. Also, we're thrilled to announce an incredible XRP giveaway. Entering is a breeze with just three easy steps, so make sure to follow through. Remember to drop a hashtag Moneyside in the comments to claim your entry. In just a bit, I'll delve into why financial giants are betting big on XRP's value reaching new heights, all tied to the Federal Reserve's impending major move towards adopting XRP. Let's get straight to the heart of today's topic. Type into Google, or even better, try out what's being called Google Bard, and search for what is the world's bridge currency. The unanimous response you'll find is XRP. However, it's not just the name that's key. It's the ISO code that truly sets it apart. XRP has been granted the ISO 4217 designation, marking it not just as any digital asset, but a unique identifier that propels it to a new level. Let's dive deeper into this. Move on to the second image. Searching for Federal Reserve ISO 4217 currency begins to piece the puzzle together. Under the ISO 4217 standard, every global currency is assigned a three-letter code. This is a monumental development, firmly establishing XRP as a global currency, poised to integrate seamlessly with every currency listed under the ISO standard, including the euro, pound sterling, US dollar, yen, and others. Where the journey begins becomes truly fascinating is when we go directly to the source for confirmation. In my quest for irrefutable evidence, I turn to the Federal Reserve's official resources and, through the relentless effort of our research team, navigating through the intricate world of digital finance, we've made a groundbreaking discovery directly from the Federal Reserve's own online platform. The website explicitly states, with clarity and without a doubt, that every currency, from the USD to the Yen, is identified by an ISO 4217 three-letter code. And which cryptocurrency finds itself in this distinguished group, XRP, clearly listed among them? There it is, right before our eyes undeniable proof. This isn't mere speculation, it's a statement from the Federal Reserve itself, an icon of financial authority, with the website content being freshly updated on October 24, 2023. This update, interestingly, came just one day after the Ripple lawsuit was concluded by the U.S., and the U.S. Congress decisively authorized financial institutions to use XRP in their operations. This sequence of developments is not coincidental. It's a carefully orchestrated narrative of financial financial innovation unfolding right in front of us. As the dialogue shifts to the potential of XRP reaching the $10,000 threshold, this projection moves beyond speculative theory and anchors itself in the reality of global transaction volumes anticipated to flow through the XRP ledger. When considering the facilitation of quadrillions in transactions, a $10,000 valuation for XRP not only appears feasible, but, in context, quite economical. Expanding our perspective, it's crucial to recognize that the significance of Ripple's partnerships extends beyond mere collaboration. It's about solid trust from financial entities, like Uphold, which holds an extraordinary position with over 1 billion XRP in its portfolio. To put it in perspective, Uphold's investment in XRP, valued at over $1.28 billion, eclipses its investments in other cryptocurrencies by an astonishing 740%. The rationale behind such a significant investment in XRP stems from the banking sector's requirement for a 
digital asset that can sustain the immense demands of global finance. If the banking industry is poised to integrate XRP into high-value transactions, then a $10,000 per unit price tag is not merely wishful thinking, but a prelude to a revolutionary shift in currency utility. The conversation around XRP escalating to $10,000 in the near future gains momentum, bolstered by its expected role in central bank digital currencies. This speculation is supported by a nod from the Federal Reserve, highlighting XRP's global application as per the ISO 4217 standard, with an initiation in the U.S. by the end of 2024. The accumulation of evidence underscores the breadth of this evolution. However, today's discussion transcends price speculations to unveil the monumental potential of a settlement that looms over the negotiations between the SEC and Ripple Labs. This potential settlement holds the key to resolving a prolonged legal battle, and if finalized, could lead to a significant surge in XRP's market value value as its utility broadens. We're not merely hinting at these developments, we're ready to disclose the specific documents and evidence related to this settlement offer made to Ripple Labs CEO, which could be sanctioned at any moment. In the past, settlement proposals have been pivotal, especially under the directive of Judge Torres, who imposed a deadline for a non-litigious agreement by November 9, 2023. This deadline put immense pressure on the parties involved, prompting an urgent assembly by the SEC to discuss everything from institutional settlements to the resolution of litigation. The result was a remarkable settlement proposal to Ripple Labs from the SEC, amounting to $770 million, aiming to conclude the lawsuit. However, Ripple showcased their resilience by rejecting this offer. The narrative around XRP has undergone a significant transformation, further influenced by President Joe Biden's readiness to enact an executive order that could profoundly affect XRP and other cryptocurrencies. Following this development, Ripple Labs received a second, much lower settlement offer of $20 million. Crypto legal expert John Deaton has suggested that Ripple is very likely to accept this reduced settlement, potentially marking the end of the legal tussle with the SEC. This executive order represents just the beginning of our deep dive today. We're delving into the intricacies of the potential for XRP to hit the much-discussed $10,000 milestone alongside an examination of the recent increase in XRP's market activity, a remarkable 10% rise in just the past 24 hours following President Biden's crucial executive order. This acceleration and elevation of stakes highlight the order's intent to support the Federal Reserve's adoption of XRP globally. Adhere Adhering to the ISO 4217 standard, a conclusion supported by independent research. Shortly after this directive, a settlement proposition surfaced, urging Ripple Labs to agree and conclusively end their legal dispute with the SEC. The proposed settlement for Ripple involves a $20 million fee to definitively conclude the Ripple SEC lawsuit. This situation is groundbreaking, particularly with the backdrop of Ripple's CEO discussing U.S. banks' interest in adopting XRP following their legal challenges with the SEC. A complete victory in the lawsuit could trigger a significant change in the Federal Reserve's approach to incorporating XRP, pointing to a potential surge of transactions through the XRP ledger. Today's discussion goes beyond mere speculation. It's an exploration into the concrete and rapidly changing landscape of XRP's role in the global financial system. Please remember, I am not a licensed financial advisor. The content presented in these videos is purely for entertainment purposes. I always encourage viewers to conduct their own research and consult with professionals before making any financial decisions. Thanks so much for tuning in. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, make sure you turn on the notifications to be the first to know when I release new content.